Hello and welcome to my channel and I'm filming this intro from sunny Sorrento um, Yeah, I've been here a little while now. There's going to be a holiday vlog to follow at some point if it's not already live on the channel um, But for now, I'm going to do a compact with me for the week in Sorrento So back to the house and all of my clothes Okay, so here we are a bit of a bomb site at the moment, but uh Hopefully it's all going to fit into that little case over there. Right, well, let's start with, so what I've done, I've put, I've not put things out in sort of outfits, but I've got outfits in mind. So I'll just go through what I have got and then I'll tell you what I'm going to pair them with. So I've got here three pairs of sort of casual shorts. Um, I'll tell you where they're from as well. So Primark, Matalan. Primark so they we have a barbecue and I need some sort of old shorts in case because I sort of uh, me and my brother do or my brother and I do the barbecue so just need some sort of old kit for that so three lots of shorts I've got another set of shorts over here which were another Primark one and I'm going to team that in the evening because I don't normally wear shorts at night but I'm going to this time and then I've got that pretty Sorry. white t-shirt with a little uh trim on it that was from Matalan I think everything is Matalan or Primark actually um I've got one two three boob tubes because I do like not to get uh, tan marks if you can help it strap marks um that was Matalan Matalan Jane Norman this is a really old one but I absolutely love it because um they've all got like the built-in bras but this one's got the sweetheart neckline as well which I really like that sort of suits me because I'm smaller busted love that and then I've got a couple of vests I've got this Primark one which has got a built-in sort of padding bra so I really like that because I won't need to wear a bra or anything underneath it and then I've also got this one, which you may remember from a Primark haul not that long ago. Got that out of the children's section, but I think that's so pretty. White with little flowers on it. So, yeah, they'll mix and match with all of that. And then also, we don't tend to go out that much in the evening, but I'm going to take a couple of evening out items. So I've got some knee-length white shorts there. And I've got a couple of different bits I can I can put those with, but mainly this new top here. I love it. Matalan as well. Everything's Matalan. And then talking of other outfits for the evening, I'll show you these now. So this is a Primark play suit. Absolutely love this. Now I bought this, it was in a ridiculous sale for one pound. And it is a bit big for me because it's a size 12. Um, I'm sort of an eight to 10, but it's got a tie. So I can tie that at the back. Um, to cinch it in a little bit and then it won't be too tight either because in Italy it's going to be so hot I don't want any clothes clinging then this one here is quite might not be everybody's cup of tea but I tried it on and I, I think I look okay in it actually so it's another play suit again once it's ironed looks nicer that's from Matalan so that'll be probably for the daytime and then finally I've got this black play suit which is more of a um like a t-shirt material almost but it doesn't really crease i got that from did i get that from a wish haul i got it from some random place somebody sent me it um i can't even remember where i got it from but that will do for the daytime and then i've got this black cardigan from next not that i'll need a cardigan but just in case um got chilly arms in the evening and i think i might travel in a denim jacket as well or a hoodie so if then i've got another top should i need to just put something around my shoulders in the evenings and then i've got this dress that um i showed you a while back on my cozy haul that was gifted to me as well i love the fact that i'm getting gifted items for holiday Okay, next up, some bikinis. God, some of these are really, really old. This bikini here, it's funny, you know, I, I used to get rid of bikinis, but I keep hold of them now because the fashion's changed so much. So, you know, they sort of come, come and go into fashion. So this one here, I love. Um, it's got straps, so that's the only problem. Uh, it's, I think this was from Matalan, so it's brown and white stripes, and then it's got the little spot detail, the ties on the... Um, 
bikini bottoms and then there um this set here is new this was from matalan so it's a, a bra top the bikini bottoms and then a sarong and i got that in a really really good sale i think the whole lot was something like six or four it's either four pounds or six pounds but got that sort of at the end of last winter and another bargain were these gorgeous bottoms now these were all the rage I think a couple of summers ago from Primark and I wanted to get the full set but the top didn't suit me I don't I can't remember what style it was but I only ended up getting the bottoms and they were in a sale for a pound so I've got two pound items from Primark doing absolutely amazing pajamas here these were a pajama set but I didn't like the top that went with them so I've given that to charity and so Primark Primark just a little pink um cami top paired those together and then i've got these lovely little pink frilly um shorts with a little white vest top primark matalan um got my technology there all my wires and chargers and everything we always love doing crosswords so um, mum and dad love crosswords so i've just bought them that i think i got a bit ripped off actually 3.99 it's from marks and spencer but it's just a nice little book so that will fit in the case very nicely i'm going to take some masks obviously for travel underwear i've got my knickers in there and some socks and i'm going to take a black and white bra um in fact i'm going to travel in those two i think and then i've got these and then i've also got not looking quite as white as it once was um a strapless bra and again that's got a little bit of padding in it they were from primark they're really good to have in your underwear drawer i've got a black and white one and I think they're only £5 for the pair of them, but I've used those a lot. They're really, really handy because they're comfortable, but hold me up as well in all the right places. Footwear, I might have to uh, whittle this down a bit. So I'm going to travel in a pair of the um, fake Converse. So I've got the, I love these, I showed these a while back. These are the, um, the cream, but sometimes they look a bit better with trousers for me because I've got quite skinny ankles. So... I may travel in those and then I've got those lovely sort of bronze colour which will go with everything. I've got these rose pink or ro no rose pink, rose gold. In fact, they look nice in rose pink. Ro rose gold um, slip-ons, Primark. I've got some good old faithful Havianas. Is that how you pronounce it? Haviana? I've had those for years. Primark flip-flops, they're sort of a grey, silver again, will match anything. And then for the evenings, I've got these. I'm not sure about these with the little bows. I just bought them before um, I was about to pack and I thought, I need a pair of silvery colour. But I'd love it if the bow would come off, but I don't think it will. It's stuck on. So I've got those and then the sort of a pinky colour. So all of those shoes will go with anything, really. They're good, good mix and match sort of shoes. Two pairs of sunglasses. I actually bought that pair from Italy a few years ago. Love those. They're like a, a bluey grey. So again, they match everything. And then I got these. I work with a company called Zimpf. Absolutely love those. They're like tortoise shell with a bit of a gold hardware. Tiger balm. This is absolutely fantastic for mosquito bites. Um, poor old mum gets absolutely eaten alive when we go over there and we found Alan recommended this to me actually because he said they used it in the army when he was in the army so I've got a pot of that that's because the mosquitoes are rife so um, that will help with the the bites and then talking of mosquitoes got some command hooks I've actually got or left over there because we go to the same accommodation every time my um, mosquito net. So I'm just hoping it's not being thrown away because I don't normally leave it, but I did leave it in one of the cupboards right at the back. So I'm hoping it's still there. So then I have to uh, use these on the wall so it doesn't damage the walls to put the net up. Got this lovely little purse with all my money in it. That's a little Radley. I love that Radley purse. And then I've got this lovely little uh, bag like a passport bag so i've got my passport boarding cards and travel insurance um and then i've got a matching tag that's filthy now just goes to show how they throw your cases around so they're emma bridgewater and then not sure if you're aware but the old i can't remember what they were called was it any 111 like a health insurance card of some description but now we're out of the the old EU, you have to apply for a new one. So this is a UK global health insurance card. It's free. It's, it helps if you get 
if you get taken to hospital and you need to make a claim for uh, any sort of medical care. I think they cover it to start with until you then claim it back. I've got a cap because the sun will bleach my hair something terrible while I'm there. So I'm going to hope I'm going to be wearing that quite a bit. And then I've got this cute. These are like little packing cubes. Again, I got these gifted ages ago. So in here, I've just got all my bits and bobs. Got my medical stuff. I've got a face mask in case I get too hot one day. Oh, I've got some more tomato ketchups there. <laughs> Uh, got a mirror. This stuff is great. I've never seen it again. I got it from Poundland, but it's Garnier. And it's got an SPF 30 in it. And it, you can use it over makeup. So I'll be using that on my face quite a lot. In that one, I've got a sleep mask and some hair kit. Just got some other bits in this one. I've got my toothbrush, hay fever tablets, bit of soap, that sort of stuff. Uh, in here are all my um, liquids. I'm hoping I'm going to get through with all this lot because there's quite a bit in there. So I've got some of my makeup and I've got some hair care, lip stuff. I've got a 30 there for my face again. Nail glue. Oh, more Tiger Balm. Don't need to take all of that. Um, face wash. Hair stuff in there. And then in this lovely little bag, I've got all of my makeup don't need to take a lot because uh you know it, it it sweats off your face so i just need to have a few basics but and then bag wise so i got this lovely case here i'm not taking those they're full of clothes from a recent declutter video that i did um i've got this trip suitcase absolutely love that i got it from debenhams before it closed down about 45 pounds love the color of it it's a really good strong suitcase and then i've got this rucksack um i've actually got two bags that I can take on. We're flying with Ryanair, so I've got the case, and then I've also, we've paid extra, so I can take an extra bag. So I think I put my liquids in there and quite, a, you know, like my iPad and diary and bits and bobs like that. And then finally, just this little bag, which I got from Primark. I've not used it yet, but this will just do for when I nip to the shop or in the evenings. I'm just going to take one little bag. So I've now got to get all of that lot into my case. I fear I might have to cut down a bit, especially on the shoes okay let's get it done so i've managed to cram a lot into this top section including the coffees uh, that's one of those is hidden in a shoe and then the bag of underwear as well so really pleased with that then what i'm going to do just because I've got shoes in there. I'm just going to stick a plastic bag over the top and then I actually use that for my dirty laundry on the way back. So can you believe I've actually got everything into that case? Oh Except for my hand luggage, of course. Right, let's weigh it. The moment of truth. So the bits that are going in here, I'm going to have the neck thing and the cap hanging off the bag. And then going inside, I'm going to take my iPad, my YouTube diary, selfie stick, my own diary, money, sunglasses, all my tech bits and my liquids and, of course, the passport and everything. And then I'm going to wear this outfit. So I'm taking, I'm going to wear these shoes and then I've got a little vest top, cream hoodie from Primark, some comfy. These are really nice, actually. I got these from Tesco. Um, I didn't fit in them when I first bought them, but I do now, so that's a result. And then I'm going to wear um, this D&G denim jacket over the top of it, or I might even tie that around my waist. So, that's it all done. Can't believe it. I cannot believe it's got into that case. Crazy. Right, time to put my false nails on and wash my fake tan off. So that's the compact with me finished. Now to head off for the actual holiday, which as you can see, I'm already on. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Please do give me a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.